Digi fans, and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero. By now, you should be a digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, this is the last Digidom video in this series. Don't worry, people, I will not abandon you. And this is the one where we design a logo. And that's great because it kind of brings everything together and you can put your logo stamp on all of your Digidom challenges that you've done so far. So if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Spark apps individually, Spark page, post and video. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, cool. Let's go to the tutorial where I teach you to make your own logo using Adobe Spark post. Okay, let's get going. So as always, when you're on the desktop, you just press the plus. If you're using a phone or a tablet, you need Spark post. And I'm gonna go here for a custom size graphic. What I'm looking for is a square, okay? What I'm looking for is a square. So you can go to popular there and just press square. It's also the same as an Instagram post. So if you need to, you can go to that one. Select next, and here we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use a template because these are cool. And they mean I can look cool without doing much work, which is great news. Now you can scroll through all sorts of things down here. And the one that kind of jumps out at me is this one. So I'm gonna create from this template, select create there. Now you might think, this isn't the one I choose. That's perfect, you choose anyone you like, and you can give it a little bit of uh, personal flair. So let's have a look at this. Now, I, re I really like the way it's kind of the yellow box on the black, uh, with the black kind of frame around it. Uh, I don't like the background that much, so I'm gonna select that, go to color, and change it to white. Okay, now I like that a lot more now. And they're kind of Digidom colors as well, so I can't, kind of think that's cool. Now the text in the middle here, I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna select it by double clicking, and you'll see that the way that they've spaced it out on different lines is just by using the return, and they put a little button at the end, a little uh, full stop. But I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna get rid of all of that and put Digi on the next line, done. Cool. Now, you see it's centered itself and that's kind of nice and I like how that's working. So we're off to a good start. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add an icon because I'm looking for something that represents me and skateboard represents me because I like to go skating. So I'm gonna pop that in there, great stuff. Now you'll see it's a green. I don't really want that green. I wanna keep the colors consistent. Keep the colors consistent. So I'm gonna go to color over here. I'm gonna go to black, cool. And I'm gonna bring that down. Now you'll see by those kind of um, dotted lines there, we've got the green one horizontal and we've got a vertical pink line. Uh, and that kind of means you've centered that, it's in the right place, but it's still way too big. So I'm gonna use one of the corners, use the other corner, bring it down, and then I'm gonna bring it and you see where the pink line comes, that means it's centered. Now, if you wanna do sort of micro adjustments, like if I wanna lift those wheels ever so slightly, I could bring it up. But actually thinking about it, I might keep the wheels on the black uh, frame there so it looks like that's the ground and that's what I'm skating along. Cool, this is going well so far. But it's still very simple and there's a lot more that I can do. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look for something else in my icons which represents me and I do a lot of filming and I use cameras a lot. So I'm gonna go in here, nice. Look at these, this is pretty smart, isn't it? Now I think the one I'm gonna use is Hmm, lots of choice. This one here, pop it in. Now, the reason why I've chosen this is because in the middle here, it's like an O, and I've got the O of Digidom, so I'm gonna do something pretty funky here. So I'm gonna press color, I'm gonna change it to black, I'm gonna bring it down, I'm gonna try and get it so that the O of the camera becomes the O of Digidom. Cool. I'm liking this so far. Just need to get it in the right place. Now you'll see, uh, this is where I can use my arrows to kind of center it as much as possible. That's looking pretty good. But of course, the major issue here now is that the camera is on top of the text. And because they're both black, you can't see the text. So there's a few things you can do. Uh, first of all, you could select it and change the order, right? And um, because it's black, you see it's gone right to the back now. It's gone behind the yellow square. But because it's black, it's kind of not working how I want it to work. So what I think I need to do is to go into my 
text here, okay? And at the moment, the color is black, but I'm gonna put a secondary color in. And you'll see that it's changed the top text here to white. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that little end down there. You'll see that now the DOM bit of DigiDOM is white, but I also don't want the black bit. You see these little, um, sorry, I don't want the top to be white. So you see these little uh, kind of lines with the um, half circle on there. I'm gonna change that. So now the Digi is in black and DOM is in white, which is perfect. Now I might need to just do a little sort of, you can see where the black is kind of poking out behind that, uh, the white um, O there. So I'm gonna select the camera. Oh, this is gonna be tough. So what I'll do is I'll move that out of the way. I will adjust the camera slightly. Maybe it just, yeah, maybe it does need to sit on, on top of the skateboard. Let me just click off and see what that looks like. Yeah, quite like that. So then I'm gonna go back to my text Bring that down. Ooh, that's looking good. Now, the only problem with it I've got now is that the digi is kind of blending into the camera. So you see on this line spacing tool here, you can move this around and then lines get closer or they get further away. So if I now put it to the maximum sort of um, to number 100 up there, you can see when it changes, it, it changes the number. And then I can go back to my text and just use my arrows to tease the writing up ever so slightly. Nice. So that's what we've got so far. We've got Digi Dom, Digi in black, Dom in white. We've used the circle of the camera to kind of fill this Dom section here, the O of the Dom. We've got me on a skateboard, which is cool. I've kind of got myself towards the back of the board, which is nice, that's how you skate, so I like that. The only thing I don't like is the fact that we've got so much white space around here. And I'm gonna change that and I'll show you how to do this. So I'm gonna select the black frame, then I'm gonna hold down shift, select the yellow square, keep holding down shift, select DigiDOM, select the camera, keep holding down shift, select the skateboard. Now what that means is that this is all grouped. You can see here, group. So I've grouped all of that stuff. And now when I go to resize, Check it out, it all resizes at exactly the same rate. Really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and make sure that it's perfectly square all around the outside. So there's equal spaces everywhere. I like that. Maybe a little bit of using my arrows just to get it perfectly in the right space. Now I'm gonna ungroup them just by clicking off here. And look at that, there's my logo. Cool, isn't it? So I'm gonna go here, call it a DigiDom logo. Now what I can do, this is, in, this is interesting and it's important. So I'm gonna to go to download here. I'm gonna select PNG. The reason why I'm gonna select PNG is when you select JPEG, it means you get everything on that page downloading, including the white background. But what I'd like is I'd like to use this DigiDom logo on some of my videos as like a stamp this is DigiDom's, or on some of my posts, this belongs to DigiDom. And in order to do that, I want the white background to be transparent. So if I select PNG and press start download, it says to me, choose a background type. And I can, I can select solid color if I like, but I can also select transparent. Check that out, it downloads down there. And just so you can see how that PNG works, if I go to create a project now, and maybe do something like, let me go to a custom size graphic, popular one, something like a landscape, click next. Then I can pop in a photo. I'll put something like, uh, I'll find skate. There you go. It's all ready and waiting for me. Maybe, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just go for something like that. All right, pin it to the background. Nice, I like it. And then I'm gonna add my own photo, the PNG. I'm gonna go here and it's in my downloads, Digidom download, Digidom logo open it up, move freely, that's important, so I can pop it anywhere I like. It goes in there, I can stick it in the corner, you can see there's no white background. This is looking cool, then I can put a little filter on my photo just to lighten it up a bit, or maybe use the matte one. Nice, that gives you that kind of yellowy glow, cool. Now I'm gonna uh, share it by publishing it, this is how you can send it to all your family and your friends, just by pressing the link button there, it creates a link for you, you copy that and then you can open that up in a new page 
and it looks a little bit like that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I really like it. So with your logos, keep them simple, keep them looking sharp, don't do too much, and make sure they're consistent in terms of colors, also in terms of fonts and things like that. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans, and I'm looking forward to seeing your logos. Share them with me. This is a proud moment for me. Hopefully you've been through all of the Digidom Challenge videos so far, and if you haven't, where have you been? Honestly, some people, so lazy. But yeah, I wanna see your logo and how you're bringing this all together, how you're representing yourself. Now you're a digital hero. So share them with me using the hashtag Digidom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. And that's all we've got in this series. Don't forget, I'll be back and I'll see you in the next Digidom series. Oh,